All right, now we're going to talk about a very important aspect of our quarters coverage. Um, we talked about how to how to uh, adjust to three by one. Three by one is a very popular formation, ten personnel sets or even eleven personnel sets nowadays. But you got to have adjustments. You got to have different ways to play three by one. Um, we have two or three that we really like. There's a bunch out there. Uh, depends on what you like, what, what you want to invest time into. But I definitely think this is a, a huge part of um, the four by four four three system. Uh, coverage package. All right, so I'm going to go over some of the more popular ones that we like and some issues with them and why we do the things we do. All right, issues with three by one. Why, why is that such a big deal? Um, number one, it, it puts the mic in a run pass conflict in our defense. A lot of times the mic will have a gap, but he's also relating to the number three receiver. Um, you know, stop the run, go play your gap, but then they're going to they're going to bait you with the run and throw the the old um, stick draw um, RPO, very very popular. So there's issues with that. So you've got to take care of that. Number two, defenses can no longer afford to drop linebackers in, into zones. All right? That's why we match routes underneath. Offenses are too good, too, um, too advanced to be able to do that. Number three, each player is a link on a chain. All right, So we all work together. All three underneath guys uh, work together. Um, number four, the boundary corner. All right, He's oftentimes their stud. All right, So three by one, offenses do that for a reason. They want to put their stud at that single receiver and hopefully get him singled up. And they want to be able to you know, you try to take advantage of that in the defense. So you have to have plans for that. Um, is it a passing team um, or is it a team with a quarterback that is a running threat? That's, again, very, very big um, aspect that you have to take into account. Uh, it, if he can run, you better be, you know, be ready to have plus one in the box there to, to take care of that. If he's more of a thrower, well, he's not going to ever run it. Well, then you can do some things with your coverage there. All right. We set our front differently in three by one. Um, and then finally, most high school quarterbacks, and again, I alluded this to the beginning in the basics, but most high school quarterbacks can't throw the 15-yard out route to the field. All right, so we're going to make them do it, and that's kind of our philosophy there. All right, so the first way we do it, and this is probably our, our most common way to pl play three-by-one, we call skate coverage. A lot of people call it stress coverage. Um, long story short, it's weak rotation. We're showing too high, and it's weak rotation. So we're going to take our boundary safety away from the passing strength and he's going to, without use of a better word, he's going to rotate down in the box. All right, now we 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 kind of get a little more specific than that. Um, give him some specific rules, but long story short, he's going to roll down into the box weak. So, looking at the picture here, um, three by one set. All right, set the front away from the three by one. Um, we will start um, to the field here. So. One thing we will not do, we will not press when we run stress. This is, we're going to be off off about six to seven yards, and then we line up based on our divider rules. All right, and our divider rules are very specific. We go five, one, bottom. So divider, the ball's on the far hash over here. The cornerback is lined up five yards inside the numbers. All right, that's five. If the ball was in the middle of the field, then we line up one yard inside the numbers. If the ball was on the near hash to the cornerback, well, then he lines up at the bottom of the numbers. All right, very critical. And we even get to the point where I told you at the beginning, we don't huddle. But these cornerbacks, all right, when we're, when we're playing these type of teams, that's going to be their huddle. They, we tell them to line up on the divider as they're getting the call. So stand on their divider. It helps them remember it. So as they're waiting for the offense to line up, they see three by one. This field cornerback, we have him physically line up on his divider. So if the ball's on that hash, five yards on top of the numbers. If the ball's in the middle, I'm going to be one yard on top of the numbers. If the ball's on the hash closest to me, I'm at the bottom of the numbers. All right. All right, now Falcon, beautiful thing, same alignment. He's apexing. Apexing, two receiver, and, um, and man on the line. Now, with that being said, we do a very specific things with our Falcon, all right? And this is both in base and in, in, in skate coverage. We give him a box out here just because of all the pre-snap RPOs, all the stuff offenses are doing as far as looking out there. Uh, why would they throw it out there? What are they going to do? We give him a box to move around. We tell him that he can line up here, 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 or here pre-snap and move around to those. He's got a, the ability to move around that box. At the end of the day, though, he better end up to where he needs to be. But, again, changing the picture because that's what the quarterbacks are doing. They're looking out there. The OCs in the box are looking out there at your overhang. Where is he at? 
well, if he's back here hanging out, well, they might like that. They're going to, you know, throw a bubble or whatever it is. They might throw a screen. So you have to move that guy around. Nonetheless, he's in charge to wall two. If it's pass, he's looking to wall number two. All right? Reroute him, make him run the hump, all right, 10 to 12 yards, and he's a seam defender. He's not allowed out of the seam unless the quarterback looks here or unless the quarterback rolls out. All right? Or if he, if he gets a bubble or an out, He's got to make sure he leverages that, but we again, we do not want to come up on that route. All right, field safety. I'm sorry, back to the field corner. So his alignment, um, again, get on, his, get on his divider. All right, six yards off. If if they all go vertical, he is to divide one and two. So worst case scenario, they all go vertical. He's going to work in his zone between the one and two receiver. He is going to always lean two if the quarterback's looking. We want to make him throw this route. All right, field safety, same thing. Line up in between the number two and three receiver. All right, same depth. Again, showing quarters here. Ball snapped. You're going to divide two and three. All right, with the emphasis on leaning number three here. All right, and again, we have some different things we can do there, but again, camp rules, that's what we're going to do. All right, Mike, you're plussed out. It's trips. You're in your 30s. You can even be hipped out a little more depending on the width of this guy. Your job is, if it's pass, to wall three. Again, three's coming. We're going to make him run the hump right there. All right, we're going to zone turn and get square about 10 to 12 yards. Bandit on the back side. You're a match two player. Doesn't change. All right, where's your two? One, two. Two comes out to the flat. Well, we got to leverage that. And if you remember back when we talked about uh, stopping the pass video, any wheel from the, from the backfield, any wheel from the backfield, we got to run with. All right, so if he'd run a wheel, we got to run with that. All right, if he comes up and checks down, then we're just matching two. We're going we're gonna to leverage that number two receiver. Heck, if he blocks and this guy comes across, that becomes his number two. So he'll, he'll zone off a little bit, eyes here, and he's going to leverage that route right there. All right, backside corner. All right, he is solo. All right, this is, again, you can only run this coverage. Again, base rules. If you've got a guy back here that can hold up in man-to-man. -man. He's solo, man-to-man, -man, inside leverage, he has them. All right, key to the coverage is our boundary safety here. All right, very specific. Snap of the ball. He's clearing his cleats, popping his feet, reading high hat or low hat. If he gets run, he is working down to the side of the running back. Why the side of the running back? Because that's the side that they're going to go zone read, and if the quarterback would pull it, he's our extra hat, all right, to make that tackle. If it's pass, this is where it's very important to understand. If it's pass, he gets high hat, all right, high hat by these linemen. Then he's going to read the quarterback. Quarterback drops, fakes, drops, whatever. If he looks this way, then we are going to help out in double number one. If he looks this way, then we're going to look to poach number three right here. So in essence, it's the best of both worlds. We like this a lot versus Teams that have running quarterbacks, you know, he can scramble and he's looking to take off, and that's a guy that we can actually just kind of coach up and be our extra guy right there. And you can do whatever you want with them, but that's base alignment and skate. So some uh, little adjustments to that. Actually, I have a video clip here first. So ba base skate here. There's our base alignment. Ball's in the middle, so he should be one yard on top of the numbers. That's his divider. All right, normal alignment. All right, we're actually – uh, bringing five here, that's okay, though. We're bringing five. All right, boundary safety. Runner pass. It's pass. Where's he looking? He's looking this way. He's looking to come and poach three right now. Right, and that's what he's doing. Now the pressure got home. Up top, all three are vertical. Leaning one and two. Leaning two and three. There we go. There's two. He's got him. There's three. He's got him. He works it into his seam. Pretty good coverage right there. All right, another look at it. Say so motion across. There's our trips. All right, we had a, we had, we're playing skate here up top. Lean one and two. Lean two and two and three. All right, here's our extra guy. Sprint out pass. All right, simple golden roll. If they sprint out, we tell our falcon you sprint out. They try to run a, a smash concept. Smash seven right there. Boom. Good collision. Good reroute right there. Sprint. Get under that route. All right, everybody else is pretty good. So, again, any release two. Three blocks. So, our Mike, who's looking to wall three, all right, 
The minute that happens, nothing comes in. He's going to green dog late. And I don't know if he does it till 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 too late. He's starting to come up right there. He probably should be a couple steps sooner. But if it's three blocks, then he can add on to the rush. All right, let's look up top. Corner, one and two. So there is no number three. So the minute that happens, one becomes the corners, two becomes the safeties. We talked about leaning one, leaning or leaning two, leaning three. The minute one of them runs a bubble, the minute one of them runs it out, the minute one of them blocks, the other two are declared as the other two guys. I don't know if that makes sense, but I can get into that a little bit more. Pretty good D. All right, here's a good picture here. So again, up top, all three are vertical, right there. Vertical, hash mark vertical, vertical. Our corner needs to divide and lean two. All right, our field safety here needs to divide and lean three. Underneath players, wall two, wall three. All right. Three probably could have been a little more physical there. Probably took a poor angle. Two, I'd like to stay inside of him. See how he went outside and gave him that window? So, again, that's not exactly how we want it done. All right. We actually ran a little stunt here. We slanted our line this way. Brought our boundary safety down. Played the C-gap there. and enabled us to have the mic out of the run fit. And that's just a little adjustment we have there in that defense. All right, another cover, another uh, clip here. So three by one, this is actually empty. We'll get to this later, but let's just focus on this side right now. So right there, there's our match two. There's our wall or match three. Good picture of it. All right, into the boundary, nothing changes. Corner's divider, where's the ball? Near hash, I'm one yard from bottom of the numbers. Pretty good. All right, these are good. Not, not, they're into the boundary, we don't need to come here. Stay where you're at, because these guys are gonna run, it's only if they go vertical is where we're worried. They'll come to us. All right, again, I'd like a more of a reroute I'd like more of a reroute. Divide one and two, divide two and three. He's extra. Where's the quarterback looking? All right. Boundary. All right. It's our bandit. We actually brought our Falcon over to the formation. That's a decision you have to make. If they go fib formation in the boundary, we, we, we travel our field players to the boundary in that case. But right here, he's a match two player over here. There is no two. Or one, two, three, four. All right, now I'm sure one of these guys could come across and be his two. Nonetheless, he doesn't have an immediate two. Just kind of zone off with your eyes in the backfield. Stay square for the quarterback scramble, for the screen, etc. Good picture. Quarterback sprints. Quarterback sprint. I sprint. Good divider here, right there. The minute one of them stops, number one now becomes the corner can take one, the safety could take two or who became two. Pretty good distribution. Really, really, really good by this Falcon getting to the sideline because they're running a deep comeback here that they wanted to throw to. You can see the quarterback looking and he had to pull off it. Good picture of our alignment. Again, one thing to keep in mind with this Falcon, if they sort of screens, this guy's got to be the destructor. He's got to be the guy that can go and blow that up. So we're actually bringing five here. We're bringing five. So one thing to keep in mind, if you bring five, you lose your match two player week. So that's where your boundary safety now has got to know that, and he's got to take him. Throw the screen to the top. Good job by our Falcon attacking and making a play on the ball. All right, one adjustment you can make. So we call it bracket. So everything over here is the same. Over here, if they got a dude at the single receiver, we can bracket him. We can double him. So basically, we play man under, real aggressive man under. We want to be a physical, aggressive, inside, low shoulder technique. And then our boundary safety 
this works on top and we actually double him. We got a guy underneath, a guy on top of him. Nice adjustment. This is an in-game adjustment based on if they've got a guy over there, you have a tendency where they're going to throw the ball to him. Maybe they just got a big time division one player, whatever it is. So right here, we're playing our normal skate down here. Up here, we're playing bracket. You can see our safety yelling to bracket to him. So he's going to play low and inside, and he's going to be on top of him. Let's just keep an eye up top. There we go. Good. And it could have been more physical, but again, good trail technique. Safety over the top. They wanted to throw it. Quarterback saw that we were doubling them and got off it. Looking there. Got off it right now. Good defense. So, again, you have a good tendency when they're going to do it. Same, same situation here. We're going bracket up top to the single receiver. Beat him up, low shoulder. He's on top. Again, they come down the bottom. Let's look at the skate version. So, again, wall two, wall three. Now, one thing you have to understand, and this is a good picture here, the mic right here has the front side B gap. All right? They're in a level three back, so I think he was thinking quarterback draw. That's why he false steps a little bit here, and that's why he's late to matching his number three route right here. All right, they get a completion four-yard gain, but nonetheless, there's a couple of things you could do here to help the mic out. You know, we could spike, again, spike our defensive end into the B gap, so now that allows the mic to play the C gap, but it could widen. All right, you could play some different games. You can run a, an ET stunt here to help him. All right, you can slant the whole line this way, all right, to allow the mic not to have a gap. And you'd have to bring, although you'd have to bring a safety down to play the backside B or C gap. But again, some different options you can do there. Another good picture of it. So again, back shoulder here. They were doing a lot of back shoulder fades to us, so we're going to bracket him. There it is there. They're actually running. looks like an RPO. They got a tackle. It's 14 yards downfield. I hope I hope they called this. I, I can't remember. But uh, nonetheless, um, good technique, good physical, inside leverage. Probably could have hugged up a little bit more on them, but we have a safety on top and a corner right underneath them. Same game, similar situation. That's better. Beating them up up top there a little bit. And we don't want to we don't want to throw them down by any means, but I like the physicalness. And again, we have a safety on top to help them. Another adjustment backside is we're just going to play cover two. So why would we do this? Why why is this different than bracket? We like this verse when teams go three by one, but go gun weak. All right, three by one far, three by one um, weak, whatever you want to call it. We call it gun weak because when they run different route combinations back here, maybe they'll run arrow dig. You know, even wheel him, post, whatever, any two-man combinations. Sometimes we like to play cover two back here. All right, again, a nice little adjustment. We don't do it very often. Ends up being maybe five, ten times a game. Um, we also like it first trips closed. So there's a tight end trips. All right, we'll make a cover two check back here. All right, that's the situation right here. So, again, no big deal. It's still skate to the field. Um, you have a lot of flexibility down here. To the boundary, what you want to do with it. All right, there's a good picture here. So, again, we're playing skate to the field up top. Skate to the field up top. We like when the back's weak here because a lot of times they had, the, they had the tendency to run routes. So, he would play the curl, he would play the flat. Safety's over the top. Same deal, three by one, so down the bottom here. He's a flat defender, he's a curl player, safety's over the top. Again, we like it when the back's weak because he's likely to come out into the pass route. Worth screen right there, very good. Now, now we got two guys, he's hooking in here, we got a, a contained guy here, but they run any type of screen, slow screen to the running back. Now we got people sitting home for that. All right, trips closed again. 
So corner here is playing the flat, half field, and over here we're playing normal skate that we always play. So real good with run support to the boundary as well. All right, here's one here. I believe they run a pad. I believe it's a dig arrow concept. We're playing two. Really good job by the bandit. Uh, he don't have far to go. You know, he dropped back to 10 yards, but he's square. Quarterback goes to scramble. He's here to make uh, make a play on it. I think they wanted to right there. That's what they want to do. They wanted to throw this dig right there. Linebacker sitting there to make the play. The corner probably shouldn't need to drop that far. He needs to be able to play this flat route. And I believe one more. So again, up to the top, top of the screen, playing cover two here. Safety's on top. Again, just a nice adjustment to your regular skate. One more here. Same thing down the bottom. Can play real aggressive, physical, cover two. And again, up to the top, no different. There's our match three player. Here's our match two. They go bunch. We'll come up and press the bunch, point up the bunch. He's our match wall three player. Right there, there's his three. Quarterback throws it right to him. Beautiful there. Same deal. Really good job. He's a wall two, two bubbles. Don't, don't go up here in the no cover zone. Do not. Just leverage that. All right, he's going to wall three. They run a little out. We almost pick it off here. Really nice. Again, gun weak. Some sort of weak concept into the boundary. Quarterback draw. Really good by the bandit. I can't, can't emphasize this enough. When we drop, we need to stay square, especially as a curl dropper, in case this happens. So we'll draw. He's there to make come up and help and make the tackle. All right, another adjustment backside here is cone. This is a big technique. I know a bunch of teams in the SEC run this. Very popular. It's their, kind of their day one install. All this is really, we're, we're going to get it. We're going to bracket him back here, but it's best of both worlds, meaning we're going to read it. So, cone technique. If he inside releases, then our corner is going to be in trail technique, and our safety is going to double him, going to top him off. If he outside releases, the corner is going to take him man to man, and it should be difficult because, again, we're head up to outside. He should almost run him out of bounds. So, I tell him, hey, if you outside release, that guy better be in the stands. And then our boundary safety now plays exactly like skate. He can help out. He can poach three. He can help in the run game. All right, so it's best of both worlds. We end up reading it. All right, and here's kind of what I just said. If there's an inside release, all right, we're going to – the safety's going to double one and stay over the top. All right, just like that. Inside release, he's probably running a dig, a post, a slant, or a post. All right. If it's an outside release – Corner's going to wall him, hopefully push him out of bounds, if not take him. And more times than not, when offense is outside release, you hear of MOR, that's a must outside release, or PRG, protection release go. Those are offensive terms where they basically saying, hey, run the corner off, um, you're not getting the ball. That's usually what happens when an outside release happens. And they could also throw a fade, but again, we're, we're going to be outside technique here. All right, this picture is wrong. He should be head up to outside to make that hard on him. If he outside releases... We are then going to rob three in the pass game or help in the run game. So, again, the minute he outside releases, eyes go back here. If it's pass, we're looking to poach number three. If it's run, we're extra in the run fit. Best of both worlds. All right. Next one is our strong rotation. And, again, I'm going to speed up here a little bit. But, basically, it's showing quarters. Strength of, the, um, strength of the formation, we spin down that way. Now, when we do this, all right, couple of th little things with alignment. These linebackers got to understand our Falcon doesn't need to be as wide because we're going to come down and we're rolling to that. So a lot of times we'll take our Falcon and we'll blitz him. All right, we can do some different things there because we're, we're, we're one, one extra guy. We're overplaying the trips, okay? Backside here, you've got to make a decision. You're going to solo him up. You can press bail him and solo him up, um, or you can bail him out and kind of play it more of a zone. But understanding that 
he doesn't have much help because the boundary safety is going to be your new kind of middle of the field or, you know, two to three defender. Okay. A couple clips. So, again, three by one. We like this, especially into this trio set where they got a heavy, you know, heavy guy here, their H back. So, our safety's going to come down. We can move our backer back into the box. So, we're strong rotation. Again, I'd like to hold it till the snap of the ball. Um, this game, we like to show it early. We try to do a little both just to kind of protect it. But nonetheless, we end up just playing skate like normal. This becomes your flat defender. He's your two to three player. Here's your one to two player. So it's almost like a cover three to the trips. Okay. Same picture here. Now, again, we're showing our bandit. He's still going to be here. All right. Our mic is still our uh, wall three player. All right. And again, I think we're bringing our Falcon. Well, we didn't there, but so we have an extra guy to the trips there. So in that case, when we don't bring them, our Falcons are wall three. All right, and we have an extra hole player with our mic. All right, here we go. Same thing, strong rotation. We're already down. All right, our Falcons in here. Again, heavy stacked backs. Stacked backs right here. All right, we like to have an extra hat, so we played some games with the Falcon. I think we gave a spike call. And the Falcons able to play that C gap there. Because again, that's that's a dilemma you have. The front set left, left, left. You have to figure out all your gaps. They have an extra gap here when they put this tight end back here. A couple more. So again, strong rotation. They have a tight end, stack backs, heavy run tendency. They have an extra gap. So we want to bring our, make sure we bring our Falcon in, and we're going to rotate strong to that. So end of the day, same deal. We're, you get on your divider, all right, which he is. Ball's, you know, middle, so he's kind of in between five and one. All right, he's your two to three player. He's soloed up. He's still a match two player. All right, everything's the same. All right, same deal, into the boundary. So our safety's rolling down here. He's over the top. Falcon's in the box. Three by one again. Well, they're going to motion to it, actually. So, again, we're playing base quarters here. Base quarters, but we're alerting that if this motion's across, and we're going to roll down to our strong rotation, which I believe happens on the snap here. There we go. And they run jet sweep, so it works out perfect. And that's a beautiful thing about quarters. You know, there's not far to go. He's down. We've got our, our support um, right there, inside out, outside in. No game. All right, and one last one. Again, we haven't done a lot of this, but this is something that I know a lot of teams do, and we're looking to get into this year's. All right, here we go. This is our um, last version. And again, we don't do a lot of this um, three by one. We call it roll. Um, long story short, you're playing a hard corner to the trips. Right, this is great versus bubble. Quick game to the trips out there. They're going to see an off corner. Um, we're always pressing. They might try to attack you there. So he's going to play the half. Field safety is going to roll back and play one and two. Boundary safety is going to divide two and three. Again, backside, make a decision. Solo, you can press them if you've got a dude. Keep them man-to-man. -man. You can press bail them. Um, you know, we're match two back here. He's still a wall three defender. He's still a wall two defender. He's got to stay in the curl, though. Nothing's going to take him to the flat because you got your corner here. So it's almost like a trap coverage to the field. Again, a nice little adjustment, something we're going to do more of, especially if you see teams that are doing a lot of, you know, 10 personnel um, bubble game out to the field there. But that's our three-by-one adjustments. 100% you need those in your repertoire. There's many of them out there. Again, we go... Um, weak rotation, strong rotation. Um, there's a roll portion to it. Um, there's many ways. A lot of people that play palms coverage, they play mini out there. They can man up on one and then play read on two and three. Something we haven't gotten into, but uh, I know a lot of teams do that. So hope that helps.
All right, one little nuance and uh, just kind of a good coaching point in three by one. So we talked about playing our skate coverage over here and that, that's all good and well. And then on this side, the corner, again, how you're gonna play it, he's man to man there. Again, we're gonna have our boundary safety kind of, um, you know, based on run, what's he do? Based on pass, what's he do? Now, one little nuance that you have to understand with this, let's just say this guy takes, takes the top off and runs a post, you lose your corner. Now we, we talked about if the back would run a wheel, any wheels out of the backfield, our match two player here, which is our bandit, he must carry that. So you lose that match two defender of the boundary. And a very popular route nowadays, and this showed up in the Super Bowl National Championship, it's all over, is some sort of wheel post combination here. And then they bring this number three across the ball nice and shallow because we lost our boundary all right, flat defender there by with that wheel route. And then it could be some version of drive over here, which doesn't make a difference as much there. But this under route, your mic, your wall three player here, has got to know when it's gun weak, this is very critical, when it's gun weak, that he's got to take three through, meaning three through the formation. Okay, so if three goes under and he's, he's, he's looking to wall three and he goes under, the mic's got to take that. If he would just pass, because normally, right, if he's under, he's going to pass it off to his bandit who's back here. But the bandit you lost on the wheel. All right, so the mic's got to take that three through. All right. The other way, if it was gun strong, right, if it was gun strong, all right, and say whether he blocks or goes that way, well, now if they run the under, the mic knows that he doesn't need, need to take three through. He's gonna go wall three, he goes under, he would just yell under, 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 the bandit now, he, that becomes his two, and then Mike can sit under this dig route. But just wanted to make sure I hit on that because that's a, probably one of the most popular concepts out there at all levels of football, and you gotta be able to defend it.